hello everyone uh, in the last video we discuss about the local notification in ios so in today lecture we need to learn about how to send multiple local notification in ios swift 4 with the xcode 10 so let's start if you cannot uh, watch the latest video which i uploaded please watch the video first how can we show local notification then move to this video so let's start in this video we need to discuss how to send multiple notification local notification in ios and uh, we need to set the time for the notification so let's start for this you first need to write that code so we need to discuss that code first what date info date components means you need to create an object of date component and you need to set the hover when you need to show the notification so I need to set 1 because now my time is 1 48 am and after this you need to set date info dot minute I hit it 50 and after that you need to write that line so you need to write un calendar notification trigger when you need to trigger that notification date matching means matches the date and check when date is matched to your time then it shows the notification date info here is the object so we need to put here repeats false means you cannot need to repeat for the time being now so what's the next if you need to show only one notification you need to write one line request for the notification means you need to request to system when your notification will appear so identifier means it's a unique identifier for all the notification if you need to show multiple notification at the same time you need to put the request and get the multiple request like that and only you need to change and you need to change the identifier of that request content means that content notification content your title and something like that and triggers mean when your notification may be short I need to show multiple notification at the same time so we need to create multiple request with unique identifier if you can write same identifier then it can show only one notification because it checks the identifier if you need to show multiple then you can need to write unique identifier for all the request so what's next you need to write that line means local notification center dot current dot add you need to add the first request that request and completion handle what we need to do on uh, completion of that I need to do nothing so I need to write nil same like that 
for other notification but if you need to do more identifiers more notification so you also write these four line of course within loop and you don't need to write uh, multiple time like that you need to only write one and two lines and on every request you need to change the identifier and request okay so on that time I only need to show two so can I I can write two request so now time is 152 am so I need to change to 153 so let's check that it's working or not need to run the app and check it's working or not so simulator is running now oh it's getting error we need to check what's error why the error is occurred UN multiple content notification set value for undefined key so we need to check where I write that line of code set value so for the timing we need to ignore that line and run it again on 154 Let's run it again allow the local notification to run so so 154 is already so we need to run on 155 so let me make a check for that we need to off the screen because we need to remove that line if we need to write that line then it's showing on background and foreground both but if we don't write this line so we can only show notification on background so we need to wait for 155 and if it's working then okay that it's working the multiple notification is showing on the screen and you need to manage view and here so if you are enjoyed the video and you like the video please subscribe our channel for uh, more videos thanks for watching bye